now we are going to discuss question number 6.13 and in this question it is given to you a rain drop of radius 2 mm falls from a height of 500 meter above ground clear so now let's suppose i am taking this as a ground clear let's suppose i am having this drop let's suppose this is drop radius is given to you twice mm clear it falls from a height 500 meter above ground clear so let's suppose this uh, distance that we are taking here 500 meter clear it falls with decreasing acceleration due to viscous resistance of the air at a half of its original height clear so let's suppose at a certain situation this reaches up to this point clear and this is given here this is we have 250 meter clear this one is 250 meter clear so we can say for the 250 meter distance uh, this this drop is actually suffering some resistance due to viscous force clear and after that it is moving with a uh, uniform speed clear it is moving with uniform speed from here so for the rest of the journey it will move with uniform speed now what is our objective in this question our objective in this question is to calculate work done by gravitational force on the drop in the first and the second half of a journey clear so i can see that work done by gravitational force in first half and second half that will be same because whenever we are talking about only gravitational force so gravitational force is acting in a vertical downward direction either we are talking first half or second half clear so i can see this value will be constant and this should be equal to what force into displacement i can see total force is acting that is mg clear and what about displacement so i can see uh, displacement is actually same i can say this is 250 meter clear so now our objective in this question is to calculate mass of this raindrop clear so how can we calculate actually we know mass is given by density into volume clear so density density uh, we can say density into volume 4 by 3 pi r cube multiplied with g and it is multiplied with 250 clear so now density of a water we have raindrop 10 to, uh, that is 1000 kilogram per meter cube this one is 4 by 3 we can say 22 by 7 and radius now we can say radius this is given 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole cube and multiplied with 10 into i can say this is 250 clear to everyone so now we can say uh, now we can say this one is what we can say 10 to the power 3 into 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 and this one clear now if we calculate it from here we will find total work done in one part of a journey clear to you total journey in uh, total work done in one part of journey clear so now i am going to calculate so from here we can see if we simplify it how can we simplify we can write like this the uh, this is 88 divided by i can say 21 clear and multiply 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 5 clear and this is 10 to the power minus 9 clear so 3 4 5 clear and we can say 9 so i can say 10 to the power minus 4 clear then i can say this is equal to multiplied with 8 clear and here we have multiplied with 25 clear so from here we can write like this work done in in one part of a journey i can say that is w first this is given by 88 by 21 into 8 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 clear so from here you can see approximately i am taking because approximately taking this is equal to 4 because 21 multiply 4 84 so approximately i am taking 4 this is uh, we can say 200 and multiply 10 to the power minus 4 so from here we can say approximately i am taking this is 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 clear so from here you can say this is 0 0.08 joule clear so this is work done by gravitational force in one part of a journey clear so now what about total work done if we are to if we are talking about total work done of total work done by gravitational force in complete journey clear so i can see total work done this is given twice of work done in each part clear so if we multiply it with 2 i can say this is 2 into 0 0.08 this one is 
जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स जूल क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ नाउ नेक्स्ट इट इज गिवन दिस वन इज क्लियर क्लियर वॉट इज वर्क डन बाई रेजिस्टिव फोर्स इन एंटायर जर्निंग क्लियर सो नाउ हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट रेजिस्टिव फोर्स सो फॉर दैट वन एक्चुअली वी कैन यूटिलाइज वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम क्लियर सो इफ यू यूटिलाइज वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम वी कैन सी नेट वर्क डन और वी कैन सी वर्क डन बाई ऑल फोर्सेज इट मे बी कंजर्वेटिव नॉन कंजर्वेटिव एक्सटर्नल इंटरनल वी कैन सी वर्क डन बाई ऑल फोर्सेज दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू चेंज इन कानेटिक एनर्जी क्लियर नाउ वी कैन सी वर्क डन बाई कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स वी हैव जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स जूल जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स प्लस आई कैन सी हियर वी हैव नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स दैट इज रेजिस्टिव फोर्स सो डब्ल्यू आर दिस इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ एम वी स्क्वायर क्लियर मास मास इज गिवन टू यू वी हैव जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड यू कैन पुट दैट वैल्यू हियर एंड वी स्क्वायर वी मीन्स वी कैन से हियर दिस इज गिवन टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज टेन स्क्वायर क्लियर सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन आई एम टेलिंग यू द वैल्यू ऑफ मास सो वैल्यू ऑफ मास इज गिवन टू यू दिस इज थर्टी टू थर्टी टू डिवाइड बाई थ्री पाई इन टू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस फोर इन टू टेन स्क्वायर क्लियर टू एवरी वन यस क्लियर एक्चुअली दिस इज टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स जस्ट यू कैन कैलकुलेट वॉट एवर वी राइट हियर वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ मास यू कैन फाइंड आउट क्लियर सो वी कैन से दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स प्लस डब्ल्यू आर क्लियर सो नाउ इफ यू कैलकुलेट रजिस्टिव फोर्स क्लियर देन यू विल फाइंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू दिस इज एंड अप्रोक्सीमेशन एंड यू विल गेट हियर माइनस इन माइनस यू विल फाइंड वर्क डन जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू जूल क्लियर सो एक्चुअली मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज नॉट अ कैलकुलेशन इन दिस क्वेश्चन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज हेयर हाउ कैन यू प्रोसीड फॉर दैट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कीप इन माइंड either uh, rain drop is going with certain acceleration or retardation or a constant velocity work done by gravitational force in each part of journey always remain same clear but if we are talking about total journey and that the time we will consider total work done by uh, conservative force in both the parts clear after that if we want to find that what is work done by resistive force so there is no other parameters are given to you so but one parameter is given final velocity of that rain drop when it touches the ground clear it means now i can apply equation of a motion and equation of motion when we apply we can find out resistive work done by resistive force clear so this is all about this question